I'm 39 weeks pregnant and um, I've been having contractions probably the past two hours over like five to seven minutes apart. I woke up around, I'd say like 12 and it's now almost three in the morning and I've been tracking all my contractions and they feel like strong period cramps and um, they're like at least five to six minutes apart called the doctor and um i'm gonna go in to get checked because i just i remember this feeling like like there's a difference between braxton hicks and then feeling this like period cramp feeling and consistent contractions i'm like shaking right now so oh, i don't know if i should make a coffee or not Okay, um, they're definitely getting stronger, probably yeah. like three, four minutes apart now. I'm just waiting for his mom to come and I'm drinking some coffee because, I mean, I got a little bit of sleep. I slept probably from like 8.45, 9 to like 12.15 and again, like the contractions woke me up out of my sleep, but I remember this feeling. Yeah, somebody woke me up out of my sleep too. Yeah. And I really want to try to drink some water because I know they deprive you of water. But, oh my god. You ready? You ready? I mean, this? it's so much different the second time around because it's like I know what's coming. I'm kind of scared, but I'm really mm -hmm. excited at the same time. And I'm just, oh my god, this is the last time we're going to be in this house with just one baby because Mila's sleeping right now and we can't even say goodbye. I know, that's kind of sad, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta Bye. say goodbye. Bye to the baby bump. Yeah. Baby ball. It's 3.33 in the morning. We just left and it's freezing. It's 60 degrees um, on September 3rd. But 3.33 on September 3rd. <laughs> yeah. Um, He's coming. <laughs> so, um, I'm laughing now, but um, it's, I can tell it's early stages of labor. I'm not gonna be too happy probably within the next few hours because that's just how it is. Um, I don't know what to think right now, but it's like exciting. I'm kind of like sad that I'm not gonna be pregnant anymore, and <laughs> <laughs> I'm really nervous of I don't know the pain. Um, I don't know. I'm just so cold right now. That's all I can feel. But I had a contraction right before I started I this. Like it. No, it's okay. Um. <clears throat> Try, again, I'm trying to just drink as much water as I can right now. Point of advice, if you're going into labor naturally, just try to drink as much water as you can because they only give you an IV and for whatever reason, no, like, I mean, at least my hospital, no water. And that's just, even though you're hydrated through the IV, but your mouth feels like the Sahara Desert, so. And I usually drink a gallon of water a day, so. <laughs> I know by the time, maybe I'm like pushing or whatever, I'm gonna be really thirsty feeling.
Yeah, that's the entrance. That's where the magic happens. I remember we parked like I think over there with Mila. Or yeah, up there. Yeah, we parked like a mile away and had to walk. Uh-huh. Yeah, in here. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Oh, you're having a baby. Pay five bucks. Oh, it's open. Park right by that Mercedes. That's where we parked last time. I always feel like this is just the car's gonna hit. I know, right? Just, yeah, you can park the lake, I guess, like right there for now. So I had like three, four contractions, um, and we only live like 12 minutes away from the hospital. Yeah, it took um, us 15 minutes. I'm happy. I just realized that I'm not sitting on a towel. Thank God my water didn't break or anything. Yeah. Because that wouldn't have been good. would have been messy. Oh. And I feel like I have to poop. Not, I already did, but that's just what labor does. <laughs> but seeing her get like sedated, yeah, was uh, <laughs> crazy. Because one, one second she's flighty, like you know, crazy, and then and then she just it, just, it oh. looks like she's dead. Fuck. And we started crying. Poor baby. Okay. We're ready. Yeah, it's actually a lot smaller than that. So I, I am um, set up in the triage. They're just making sure to see if I'm in labor or not. And I feel like my contractions like weirdly died down. So we'll see what happens. But like they're they're picking up on the thing, so. Yeah, I kind of feel embarrassed and upset because I'm super tired, I got no sleep. But this is the first time I felt like, like I always felt contractions, but not like this strong. Okay, I think my body's officially putting me in false labor. Because I haven't had one in like a while. Where I think... Well guys, I am now home and I am absolutely beyond embarrassed. I am also frustrated and I'm extremely tired. This is what padromal labor acts like and does to someone. I never would ever have thought that I would be the person experiencing padromal labor. And if you're like, how don't you know? Like you already had a baby, you should absolutely know. And when I tell you after what I just went through, you really think it's time and then it just goes away. Like I was in full blown pain, it hurt, my contractions were coming every three to four minutes, five minutes, just like they tell you when to call the hospital. The pain was pure period cramp pains, pains all in my butt, pains all down my thighs, pains just really intense all on my pelvic floor like there is a difference between braxton hicks and then when you're starting to feel that um like braxton hicks are just you know they're uncomfortable but that's it they're literally just uncomfortable your belly gets a little bit tight and and that's it like these contractions were lasting way over a minute but anyway i woke up around 12 midnight and started feeling that intense feeling right away and there's like a clear distinct difference but anyway I started timing them and first they started out to be like seven to ten minutes apart and then by the time like 3 30 a.m when i called it in they were two to three minutes apart and i really thought i was gonna have the baby i'm like okay like it's time this is awesome i'm 39 weeks um and literally when we get to the hospital i get hooked up on the monitors 20 minutes later it just starts to fizzle out and i started like seeing i'm like where's my contractions where are they going like what is happening this is just beyond embarrassing even though like i probably shouldn't be embarrassed but now now my problem is how do i know when labor is actually starting if i should believe it how do i know should i call back and go back because what if this just happens two or three more times and that's just not to mention i don't know how much it's going to cost you know i have insurance but 
I don't think that's free to get. I didn't get fully admitted. I just was put in a triage, but I don't trust my body right now. And that's the problem. I don't trust when it's really time. And the doctor was like, you're gonna know it's time, but it's like, okay, but I really thought it was time because that distinct feeling, I remember like, remembering when I was in labor with Mila, I'm like, these are those pains that I'm feeling right now. So if you're experiencing prodromal labor and you have an episode and you go to the hospital and you're sent home, I feel for you. And it's not because I'm like sad and like overly anxious that I wanna meet the baby. I'm actually nervous of like, how do I trust my body right now? Um, how do I know when it's really the time to go? And not to mention, it just adds on a little bit more that I am positive for strep B. I need the antibiotics before I have the baby. Um, or else if I have him before I get these antibiotics, he can be extremely sick. So that is just adding on just a little bit more. And obviously I'm just done feeling, you know, I, I love being pregnant. Don't get me wrong. Like I completely, like I was before, before I was leaving, I was like, oh, like I was so sad. I'm not going to have a belly anymore. I'm not going to feel him in me anymore. I don't mind him in me, but I mind these contractions and prodromal labor and these aches and pains from you know the progression in my cervix dilating and all of that i don't know what to do anymore i'm so tired i can only sleep at night i can't sleep during the day and i'm still getting contractions they're obviously inconsistent but they hurt they hurt now and i'm three centimeters dilated so i don't know what to do i don't know what to think but guys, this is what my reality is right now. I'm just sitting on the 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 ball right now. Not that it's probably gonna do anything. Gino's mom took Mila for the day and Gino's just out back working on her addition because I wanna see if I can try to sleep, but I probably can't. What's probably going to happen for Courtney's Murphy's Law is I will probably go into labor tonight before I get a chance to even get any sleep at all. So no sleep last night and probably deliver a baby on no sleep and just continuously no sleep <sighs> okay my rant's over i am getting just tortured at this point